Beautiful day to try and get a winning homestand and a series victory all in the same. And it is our first annual Mo Gabba Day to boot here at Oriole Park at Camden Yards. A special day for all of us to remember and to recognize one of the most special people ever to grace our city. It is the Rays and the Orioles in the last of a four game series from Camden Yards. Wish you a good afternoon, Kevin Brown, Ben McDonald alongside. It is a day for us to honor and to remember and reflect on what Mo Gabba meant to the city and to this team two years to the date of his passing in a season where it's felt like the Orioles have had somebody watching over their shoulder. There's been a lot of divine intervention, it seems, late in innings, late in games. We know Mo's smile is as wide as ever today. And it was just one year ago yesterday on the first anniversary of Mo's passing that the Orioles celebrated and honored him 14 years way too young there's Mo's mother Sunzi who threw the ceremonial first pitch today you'll see in a moment she also threw it a year ago to Trey Mancini it was a special pregame ceremony and also one year ago Trey picked up the bat and he hit one for Mo way out to left field off Miami's Jordan Holloway in a game the Orioles would trail five nothing they would come back to win in walk-off fashion. After the home run, Sunsi got the ball, and she and Trey blew each other a kiss. One of those really, truly special moments that we saw at the ballpark one year ago today, Ben, and we're celebrating with the first annual Mo Gabba Day. Certainly will be the first of many to come. Yeah, you know, I remember Mo calling into the local radio shows, uh, you know, expressing his love for the Orioles and, of course, the Ravens, giving his opinion about everything. Had a chance to talk to him and meet him a couple times down on the field here in Baltimore, and just an infectious smile. No matter what he was going through or feeling that day, he just made you smile when you got a chance to visit with him. And so, we love Mo Gabba. There's his mom, Sanzi, and that, that was today. She threw out the first pitch today, you know. So it's emotional for everybody. I know it's emotional for Trey Mancini. Of course, Adam Jones had a big relationship with him as well, as did, you know, Raven quarterback Lamar Jackson. And so he touched so many lives. There's Trey and Sanzi repeating that first pitch again today. So those will try to win one for Mo today, try to get the series win. They've got Jordan Lyles on the mound, Tampa Bay's Ryan Yarbrough. First pitch from the yard is next. It is the first Mo Gabba day here at the ballpark, the first of what will be many to come on the two year anniversary of Mo's passing. Maybe no bigger Oriole fan, no Oriole fan more full of joy out there in the world. We all lost Mo way too soon. We've remembered him today. We remembered him a year ago when the Orioles walked off winners on the first anniversary of his passing. Trey Mancini hit a home run in that game. He has a hit today. Been a season where it's been feeling like, you know, pardon the hokiness, there's been some kind of divine intervention up above with all of these Orioles walk offs and close wins. And another close win on Mo Day, a series win, a homestand win would be oh so fitting. And the O's are oh so close to getting there. It'll be Mancini for one final at bat third in this inning after Chirinos and Hayes yep. a couple years ago when Trey was in a rough stretch and you remember spending an all star break here and going to Dave and Buster's with Mo real super fan and how Mo's legacy continues to live on and how Trey thinks about Mo all the time and it's worth noting that last year on the one year anniversary of his passing who hit a home run. Trey Mancini. Yep. And Mo helped Trey with that mentality too. Pitch is on the way. It's grounded off the third base bag and it hits down the left field line. Headed to second is Hayes. Throw coming in. It is late. A double for Austin Hayes as that ball pegged off the bag, went over the head of Paredes, and then a Rose Arena. Was not able to get Austin Hayes at second base, so Hayes has got a double. And now, here comes Trey. Fans were standing earlier for Trey's first at bat. And some recognition by the Orioles fans, more of whom are standing now, the yeah. significance of this at bat. 
against Armstrong, his former teammate. Pitch in. Strike. Outside corner, 0-1. And we talked about how during Trey's skid, he wasn't being as angry and pent up and lashing out as we'd seen in the past. And he talked about how he's had so many people around him just letting him know that it doesn't get him anywhere. Mo was a really, really big piece of that and reminding him to keep perspective. A one. Mancini, fastball, waves through it. No balls, two strikes. Does have a hit in this game. He's got three of them in the last two days. Two strikes, one out in the inning. Hayes at second, Orioles one, Rays nothing. Bottom of the eighth. The 0 2. Fouled off the screen. Trey is going to move out of the home plate circle. Take it all in for a moment. Now we'll dig back in against Armstrong. Owen to the count. Walls playing right behind Hayes at second base. Hayes takes his lead, and Armstrong steps off the rubber. Two strikes, one out. Here it comes. Mancini hits it in the air to right. Low, headed back, dealing with the sun, trying to find it, and it hits off a low. It caroms away. It's headed towards the corner. Hayes is going to score. Coming over is Quinn. They're setting Mancini around third. Throw coming home. Trey slides. He is in there. Unbelievable. Orioles take a 3 nothing lead. That just happened. Wow. Lowe couldn't find it. Hit off of him. It carried towards right as Lowe went down. Quinn had to run over. And Trey Mancini going as fast as he could go with a feet first slide in the home plate, circling the bases. And somewhere above, Mo Gabba is laughing and smiling. You can't, you can't script it. It's a, it's a and they're going to call it an inside the park home run for Trey Mancini. You can't script it. First pitch, hit in the air, down the left side, starting to slice towards foul ground, and Brady's has got enough room. He'll make the catch for the second out of the inning, and the inside the park home run by Trey Mancini. That is your Baltimore area Honda dealers. Long drive of the game. Drive into your local Honda dealer today. Is there a baseball god? Are there baseball gods? The answer after that has to be us. And you know, it's funny, my brain said, maybe he gets one over left. That's been kind of the monster of this year. No, let's make it even more dramatic and huge. The pitch. Fastball. Called high. One ball and no strikes. What did we just see? I, I mean, that is just unbelievable. It's Mo. That's Mo. One and over count, the pitch. Outside, two balls and no strikes. Well, he had a home run last year to left field, and Sadzi Gabba, of course the mom of Mo Gabba, was right behind the Orioles' dugout, found her immediately after he hit the home run. You get chills after something like that. No doubt. And you know what this game means for Trey Mancini in more ways than one. The 2-0. I mean, I, I literally, I, I got chills that have not gone away. Uh, I have tears, but I mean, that's, that's kind of always what happens on Mo Gabba Day. 
Two and one, two outs. Next offering, fastball in the middle for a strike. Two and two. That is the first inside the park home run for the Orioles since Austin Hayes' inside the park home run in Philadelphia back in 2020. The 2-2 pitch. Foul tip for strike three. This a moment ago in between innings. We don't know, but it could be the final home game as an Oriole for Trey Mancini. And in case it was, he has left this crowd with the moment they and he will never, ever forget. His first career inside the park home run. A two-run shot. Off the face of Josh Lowe. Believe in what you want to folks. There's something magical going on here. It's three nothing Orioles in the ninth. Trey's going to try to watch the final three outs from the dugout as the DH today as Felix Bautista throws to Taylor Waltz. Cedric Mullins has come into the game. Ryan McKenna out to right. It's a little misty in here for some of you. Uh, it is for some of us. We can't blame you. It's been an emotional, magical run for the Orioles this season. It's been an emotional, magical couple of years for Trey. And there may be players that mean more on the field to their teams in the majors. Nobody means more off the field. The this guy to this franchise. I'm sure that a lot of us thought about what it could be like. Would there be a trade moment on Mo Gabba Day? We couldn't dream this up. <laughs> this is not possible. That we could dream up. That's. That's a hundred. That's within the realm of possibility for the mountain. We have seen this before. Triple digits. And Taylor Walls, if you're waving at me, howdy. Pitch on the way. Low, one ball and no strikes. Unbelievable. And, and what you love about that moment for Mancini with the curtain call, he took the time to take the home run chain off before he went back atop those steps. And he first pointed at Sanzi. The 1 0. Pitch is a strike over the inside corner, one ball and one strike. And he had a long look back at her the way he did last year before he took another moment to step back and look at the rest of the crowd. One and one the count. It's a 3-0 Orioles lead in the ninth. Bautista to Pinto. Half swing and a miss through a slider. One ball and two strikes. Yeah, Pinto was trying to cheat. Maybe looking for the fastball there. Instead, he got the slider. So it's a foul tip. One ball and two strikes. One, two. Splitter, got him. Out in front of it, strike three. And Bautista and the Orioles are one out away from a 3 nothing win over Tampa Bay. A series win. A winning homestand. And a chance to get back to 500 in game number 99. And there is a fan with full face paint down below who is getting everybody to get up to their feet right now. Pitch in. Half swing and a dribble up the third baseline in the grass. Fielded by Torino. Spins. Throws to Burt. They got him. And the ball game is over. 
It is a series win, a homestand win, and on Moe's Day, the Orioles keep rolling. Trey Mancini's inside the park home run. One more unforgettable moment in a career that's been jam-packed with him. Boy, what a day. What a homestand. Orioles 4-3 and three on this homestand versus the Yankees and the Rays. Two off, two playoff caliber teams. Big RBI double in the third by Anthony Santander. Trey Mancini inside the park. Two RBI home run. And I tell you what, the Oriole bullpen continues to shine. This homestand alone, 30 and a third innings of work for the Oriole bullpen. They pitched to a 1.48 ERA. Jordan Lyles did his thing. He battled five and two-thirds with traffic. Did not allow a run and turned it over to the bullpen, and they were lights out as usual. His 351st Camden Yards game, Trey Mancini. He is once more the man of the hour. His first career inside the park, home run, a ball that Josh Lowe lost in the sun. And one unforgettable wild ride around the Camden Yards bases. It's a 4 and 3 homestand for the O's. It is a 3 0 win today. And we are joined by Trey Mancini, who may still be out of breath from that eighth yeah. inning. Uh, what's going through your head right now? Um, I, I can't believe that just happened. Um, you know, of anything um, you know, that's happened throughout my career, I think, and inside the park home run is. is um, by far the craziest thing and, and probably um, the least probability of, of anything that's happened in my career. So um, for it to happen today and, and on Mo Gabba Day um, of all days, I know he was up there um, smiling and, and laughing at me running around the bases. So, um, you know, can't script it better than that. Yeah, Trey, I mean, it's such an emotional day for you for a lot of different reasons, including Mo Gabba Day. How have you been able just to kind of hold it all together and be a professional and keep doing what you do? Yeah, it can be tough. Um, you know, uh, obviously there's a little bit of uncertainty um, in the coming days, but um, all I know is, is I'm here right now. I love this team, and, and we're playing really good baseball. It has been an incredible turnaround for us, and, and um, I'd like to thank all the fans for all their support this year. And, and um, you know, we love you guys, and, and it's been it's been a really fun year here. So just been trying to focus on on um, every day. And, and I had a really good talk with Hyder a few days ago. Um, you know, especially when I was struggling at the plate, um, really struggling, and. and he called me into the office and, and we had a good talk and he kind of helped snap me out of it. So so that was great. Yeah, look, that sacrifice fly. We were talking about that a couple of days ago. You got that sacrifice fly out the right center field and you barreled it up and said, look out. You know, because when you start hitting it that way, that's when you get going. But when you hit the ball off the bat, could you tell that Josh Lowe didn't quite see that ball out in right field? Yeah, I could tell. And, and playing right field here towards the end of these, um, you know, 12, 30, 1 o'clock games, I know that, that the sun is really tough for the right fielder. So, um, you know, the second that I saw him put his glove up, I knew that I needed to, to get going, um, you know, get scooting. Um, and, and luckily it took the bounce it did, and I was able to get around. Trey, what was that moment like between the eighth and ninth innings when you stepped out of the dugout? It was incredible. Um, you know, I said a few days ago that I was going to treat treat this week like it was my last week, just in case, um, you know, because the probability is greater than zero. But I have no idea what's going to happen. But I would have been remiss to kind of get caught up and not feeling great at the plate and the struggles rather than um, soaking up every minute here at Camden Yards. I mean, I got drafted by the Orioles um, nine years ago. It's my 10th season in the organization, so it's the only place I know, and, and I love it here. So, um, you know, from the fans from Aberdeen to Delmarva to, to Frederick Bowie, Norfolk, and, and here in Baltimore, um, everybody's been incredible from the second I got drafted, and, and it's home to me, you know, and no matter what, a big part of me is always going to be here. We love you too, Trey. Hey, congratulations on the win. All right, thank you. Congratulations, Trey. Thank you. Appreciate it. Three nothing victory for the Orioles. Let's go to Brett Hollander now. Get you set for Rose Expert. Something magic happened.